Yo, it's a review for Drake's Views album. Let's go. 20 tracks on this thing. 20 tracks. Very, very, very long. I think I fell asleep midway through the album. Just, <laughs> just kidding. But anyway, really, um, this album could have used a couple more features. Mm -hmm. It could have used Bryson Tiller. It could have used um, The Weeknd for sure. It would have made the album much better. Maybe a surprise Kanye West feature would have been nice. Or even an unexpected feature like Kendrick Lamar. Imagine he had Kendrick Lamar if they had cured, you know, their, their beef. Um, you know, that would have been a moment in time. You know, it's been a long while since Kendrick and Drake had a song together. I think that was since Kendrick's last album or two. Uh, Get Killed Mad City. Um, yeah, they've only had like two collaborations, I think. You know, on Drake's Take Care album and on Good Kid, Mad City. Um, it would have been nice if he had a Kendrick Lamar feature on here. It would have been nice. It would have been nice. Mm -hmm. Um, Brianna feature on here was great. But again, we've heard songs like this countless times throughout the history of Drake, you know, songs. Um, on this album, he doesn't really bring anything new, which is disappointing because we all were expecting something, wow, you know? Something, you know, kind of like the feeling you got listening to Take Care. You know, you listen to that album, you're like, whoa, Drake, he's the best right now. Whoa, who can beat Drake right now? No one. He's on top of the game, you know? Um, even though that album was so lot of singing, but I balanced it out with the rapping, and people just love that album and call it a classic. And this album, I don't know if it's a classic. Like like Drake says, it's a classic. Drake's already views is already a classic, you know, like he says in that one song. But um, no, I don't really think views is a classic, mm -hmm. even though it sold a million. It it, it was just overhyped. Very anticipated album. Two years in the making, to be honest. Um, I don't think it was worth the hype, but it's a good album. I listen to it weekly. Um, the rapping Drake on this album is good, but the lyrics, come on, Drake. Like, you're slacking. You're slacking, man. We know what you are capable of doing. The punchlines, the silly punchlines. Like, oh, come on, Drake, come on, Drake, you're better than this, We, you're better than this, Drake, come on, man, you're like one of my favorite rappers out here, you know, you keep it true, you know, you keep it real, you know, that's what people mess with you, that's why people love your music, or fans of your music, and you just throw out these silly punchlines, you know. He talks about some weird stuff on his album, like, you know, a couple songs, with, you know, concerning girls and why he's mad at a girl for some reason. Uh, mm. You know, it's kind of silly. Um, yeah, I think Drake contradicts himself a lot in this album, because in one song he's playing the victim, you know, of friendship or relationship, but then in another song he's... Like playing, you know, sus playing the suspect, you know, and um, it don't really mesh well throughout the album. Um, you got your flex songs in here. You got your still here. You got your nine. You got your your views, you know, songs on here. Your flex songs, I would say. And you got your R and B ish, dance hall, Carol ish. Um, danceable songs like With You, um, Corolla, No Controlla, what other mm -hmm. songs? Um, Too Good, Highline Blame, Feel No Ways, and, um, 
um, yeah, those songs, there are plenty of those songs in there, which I didn't really, were fond of, I didn't really like too many danceable songs, and that's great, and all, but come on, Drake, we, we the real fans of you are the Drake rapping, singing type of, you know, fans, you know, um, and we mostly got the danceable type of songs on here, like, <laughs> I don't know what Drake was doing with this album. Um, I thought this album was going to turn out different since the couple songs he released, like Summer 16. I was a big fan of that song. Very, very good punchlines on there with a good chorus, with, with a good monotone voice. And, and he was very macho on there, but on this album, he doesn't really sound macho, you know. He, he's very introspective on some songs. And the songs he's rapping on, he's singing on. You know, it's like, come on, Drake. Come on, Drake. We want the rapping. If we, When you rap, we want to hear you rapping. We don't want to hear you when you're rapping. We don't want to hear you so suddenly just switch it up and turn to singing mood, Drake. That's not what we asked for. And you, you're just confusing your, your listeners. And I'm confused, too. There's even times mm -hmm. where Drake's singing or rapping and he's just talking. I mean, what the hell? Where's the melody in this? Where's the melody? What'd you do, Drake? What'd you do? Come on, Drake. Give us 100% you. This album was consistent, but not very good consistent. More the, the, the winter season transitions. And I hate it that Hotline Bling closed this album out. Hotline Bling? Really, Drake? Really? Really, Dre, you you gonna close this album out with Hotline Bling? We heard that song a million times on the radio. Like, come on, Drake. Really, you gonna put Hotline Bling as the final song on this album? Wow, wow, Drake. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed by your your great your great album creativity mm -hmm. management. <laughs> Ah, uh, Drake, on uh, Drake. What are you gonna do next? What are you going to do next? Give this album, a, I give this album a 6.5 out of 10 stars. Yes, it was great. It was enjoyable. It was overhyped, though. Kind of disappointed when you think of a Drake album. You know, try to please everybody, but you can't really please everybody. Because this person wasn't pleased. Hopefully you guys were pleased with this album. I really wasn't. I'll be going back here and there. A couple songs that were my favorite on this album, but in total, I cannot play this album from the beginning to its end. Because there's just too many stops on this album. It just feels uncohesive. Like, were you even trying, Drake? Right? Were you even trying your hardest? And you're on top of the game. You're on top of the rap game, the singing game, whatever you want to call it. Your sales are going through the roof. But you lost creativity. You lost originality. 